Hi there and welcome to the last one of the tutorials for the Princess Ballerina Shadow Boxes. Today I am bringing you a teal box. I love this color and I am pretty happy with how this turned out. First of all, start aligning your panels. It is a good idea to run a piece of masking tape through your fingers. That way it's not too sticky. Center your front panel. Add a piece of masking tape, the piece that you just worked on, and um, add your double-sided tape to the back of the front panel, turn it around, and remove the tape. This way you make sure the front panel is completely centered. Next, start adding your embellishments. Take the biggest uh, body piece and add the slipper, the, sh the shoe, the ballerina slipper to the leg and next start adding the ballerina slipper to the other foot but this time do it on the small piece of the body. This smaller piece goes on top so you have to put the slipper on top of this piece. Next, add this front piece of the body using some d uh, foam tape. I like to cut uh, very thin strips of foam tape and remove the backing and add it to the bigger uh, body piece. Make sure it's aligned. It's a good idea to pick it up and uh, center it using uh, your fingers. Now it's time to add the head. Also use a piece of double-sided foam tape to the head and make sure no piece sticks out of the uh, contours of the head. There are four pieces to the dress of this ballerina. You just have to add glue. This will be a flat embellishment. Do not add foam tape to the uh, dress the dress pieces. Finally, add the trimming at the waist. You can uh, add the glue directly to this piece or you can also put glue on your craft mat and dip the piece in the glue. Next, add the wider trimming. This is a bigger piece so you can add glue directly to it. Align it with the sides of the dress and press with your fingers. Next, you will add the dress to the ballerina body. You have to use a piece of foam tape to adhere uh, the lower piece of the dress. I wanted the uh, skirt of the dress to pop up a little bit, so I added a piece of foam tape to the front leg. And here you can see how it's popped up. Next, add the gloves. There is one glove that goes on uh, the right hand and the other one goes on the left hand, but this one goes on top of the dress and on top of the body piece. Just make sure you add very thin pieces of foam tape to it. Remove the backing of the foam tape, align it with, with the back piece of the body. And here you see me using two pieces of foam tape. On the um, hand and the wrist, and only one piece on the shoulder. Now start working on the hair. Add a thin line of glue to the lower part of the hair, the, the main hair piece, and glue it to the head. Next, add the bangs. I used a small piece of double-sided foam tape and also a bit of glue towards the end, the end point of the, of the bangs. That way the front part pops up and the back part stays flat against the main piece of the hair. Once it's dry, add the bun using a 
rounded small piece of double-sided foam tape. This way everything pops. I also added a rhinestone, a small self-adhesive rhinestone to the ear to make it look like an earring. Then start curling the ties of the bow and, uh, and assemble the loops. Put the large one behind the small one and add the center tie. This is a small piece so you can use a dot of glue to the back directly or dip your piece in glue. Add foam tape to the back of the ballerina. You will put your ballerina on your back piece at this point. Remember to use a doubled piece of foam tape on those um, on the ends of the dress. Remove the backing. Bring your uh, back panels and center your image. Remember the leg and the arm are pretty much a straight line. A straight vertical line. Next at the bow using some glue and finally add the strings. I added also a rhinestone to the loops of the bow to make it look a little bit more girly, I think. And there you go. Finally, take your shadow box frame, put your image in, and you're done. I love how this turned out. Next to the other shadow boxes, I think this is a great addition. I hope you like this project and you give it a go sometime. Please don't forget to visit the blog post for more information on this project. Remember the products I use are linked in the video description below. And here are a couple more videos you could be interested in. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and see you again very soon. Bye bye.